In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate volume when pressure changes. Question 1 reads, when Whitney had her asthma attack, oxygen was delivered through a face mask. The gauge on a 12 liter tank of compressed oxygen reads 3,800 millimeters of mercury, MMHG. How many liters would this same gas occupy at a pressure of 0.75 atmosphere when temperature and the amount of gas do not change? Before we have our discussion on the relationship between volume and pressure, I want to make sure that the units for pressure are the same. So either I change MMHG to atmosphere or atmosphere to millimeters of mercury. It's strictly up to you because the question doesn't really specify. So I'm going to change 0.75 atmosphere to MMHG. And the way you do that, according to one of our previous videos, let's write down 0.75 atmosphere. And we'll need to multiply this number by a conversion ratio. We'll use the table underneath to help us. So we want to go from atmosphere to MMHG. And the conversion ratio is that one atmosphere is equal to 760 MMHG. From here, what I'll do is rearrange this conversion ratio so that I have 760 MMHG at the top and one atmosphere at the bottom. Because by writing it like this and then multiplying it to 0.75 atmosphere, look what happens. 760 mmHg, the unit that we want, over one atmosphere. The atmosphere unit and this atmosphere unit cancel out, leaving you with mmHg, which is what you need. Okay, so we'll take our calculator, 0.75 times 760 and the equivalent of 0.75 to mmHg according to this calculation is 570. Now the relationship between volume and pressure according to Boyle's law is that volume and pressure are inversely proportional. So we can write down mathematically that volume is equal to a constant K times 1 over P. They're inversely proportional. Notice that this is 1 over P and this is V over 1, essentially. So to find the change in volume, we use the formula Vp or V1 P1 is equal to V2 P2. Because had I multiplied, for example, both sides of this equation by P, the P variable on the right side would cancel out, leaving you with Vp, just like how we have it here. So we would have P times V is equal to the constant K. Anyway, you can ignore this for the rest of the lesson. Let's just concentrate on this formula. Now the original volume was 12 liters. So I'll write down 12 times the original pressure being 3800. And that's equal to the volume. So we are looking for liters here. I'll write down V2 multiplied to the new pressure, which we calculated to be 570. If I divide both sides of this equation, the equation in brown, by 570, watch what happens. This number and this number will cancel out, leaving us with V sub 2. So I'll take 12 times 3,800. Make sure you click equals. And then we divide it by 570. And we get our brand new volume of 80 liters. So to sum up, at a pressure of 0.75 atmosphere, it would need 80 liters to occupy the same amount of gas when the temperature and the amount of gas stays the same. Let's move on to question number two. In an underground natural gas reserve, a bubble of methane gas, CH4, has a volume of 45.0 liters at 1.60 atmosphere. What volume in milliliters will the gas bubble occupy when it reaches the surface where the atmospheric pressure is 744 milliliters of mercury if there is no change in temperature or the amount of gas? This, just like in question number one, uses the same formula. V1, P1 is equal to V2, P2. And just for a change, I will modify this number, which is in MMHG, into atmosphere. So 744 mmHg using the same conversion ratio as before. I'll write down 760 
at the bottom, notice that this unit is at the bottom and one atmosphere at the top. The reason why I placed it like this as opposed to the way it was here is because this time I'm looking for atmosphere and I want the unit that I want to keep at the top so that these cancel out. Let's take 744 divided by 760. We end up with this number. Now, of course, this should be to three significant figures, but I'll just keep that number on my screen for now. I'll write down 45.0 milliliters, and the pressure unit was 1.60 atmosphere. The volume is what we're looking for, and the pressure, the new pressure is 0 0.979, technically. But I'll just keep all of these extra digits so that I don't get into any rounding errors. And just as before, we divided both sides by that number. So first, I'll take 45 times 1.60 and divide it by that number that was just on our screen. And we end up with, to three significant figures, 73.5. 73.5 milliliters. And there you have it. That is how to calculate volume when pressure changes.